Who your tribe is, is pretty flexible. One strategy is to create goals, which become superordinate identities that are larger and more encompassing. This is what happened when Franklin Roosevelt introduced the New Deal. This was in the early 1930s. The United States was fracturing under the pressures of the Great Depression. Unemployment was at record highs. The banking system was collapsing and regions and classes were turning inward and everyone was blaming one another for the catastrophe. It was a moment of deep polarization. But instead of leaning into division, Roosevelt pulled a robber's cave maneuver on a national scale. He created superordinate goals, projects that were so large and so urgent that no single group could solve them on its own. He launched massive public works projects like the Civilian Conservation Corps and the Tennessee Valley Authority and the Works Progress Administration. And these required Americans from very different backgrounds to cooperate. You had farmers and city dwellers. You had immigrants and veterans and young people. All these people suddenly had to work side by side to build dams, to restore forests, to pave roads, to electrify rural America. The Social Security Act gave everyone a shared stake in the same national project. These programs obviously don't erase every division, but they did expand the sense of us people who might have seen each other as competitors or strangers, now became teammates in a collective effort to rebuild the country. 